Praise the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Eucharistic celebration. We pray for divine retreats in the summer sea. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the divine retreat center summer sweet. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer in this year temple. May the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions and let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Entrance and Ephon. Be my protector, O God, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me, guide me for the sake of your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in this Eucharistic celebration, let us remember our family members, and among our family members, especially those who are <clears throat> bedridden, those who are in need of the help of others, <clears throat> especially to do their own things, to move around, we pray for them. We remember them and all those who are helping them in the family, their body, mind and soul. O oh Lord, touch with your mighty hand, touch with your mercy, touch with your strength, we pray. <clears throat> Brethren, let's acknowledge all our sins, asking the Lord forgiveness and pardon and to make us worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who teaches that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for the readings. Genesis. The man had intercourse with his wife Eve, and she conceived and gave birth to Cain. I have acquired a man with the help of the Lord, she said. She gave birth to a second child, Abel, the brother of Cain. Now Abel became a shepherd and kept flocks, while Cain toiled the soil. Time passed and Cain brought some of the produce of the soil as an offering to the Lord. While Abel, for his part, brought the firstborn of his flock and some of the fat as well. The, lo the Lord looked with favour on Abel and his offering, but he did not look with favour on Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry and downcast. The Lord asked Cain, Why are you angry and downcast? If you were well disposed, 
Would you not be lift up your head? But if you are ill, disposed, it is not sin at the door, like a crouching breast hungering for you, which you must master. Cain said to his brother Abel, Let us go out. And while they were in the open country, Cain set on, set on his brother Abel and killed him. The Lord asked Cain, Where is your brother Abel? I do not know, he replied. I am my brother's guardian. Am I my brother's guardian? What have you done? The Lord asked. Listen to the sound of your brother. Listen to the sound of your brother's blood. It's crying out for me from the ground. Now he accused now, now be accused and driven from the ground that has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood at your hands. When you till the ground, you should no longer yield any of produce. You shall be a fugitive and a wanderer over the earth. Then Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. See, Today you have driven me from this ground. I must hide from you and be a fugitive and a wanderer over the earth. Why, whoever comes across me will kill me. Very well then, the Lord replied, if anyone kills Cain, sevenfold vengeance shall be taken from him. So the Lord put a mark on Cain to prevent whoever might come across him from striking him down. Adam had intercourse with his wife, and she gave birth to a son, whom she named Seth. Because God had granted him other offspring, she said, in place of Abel, since Cain, was, since Cain killed him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The response is, offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. The, the, God of good, God, the God of gods, the Lord, has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. I find no fault with your sacrifice. Your offerings are always before me. Response? Offer God, God a sacrifice, sacrifice of praise. But how can you recite my commandments and take my covenant on your lips? You who despise my law and throw my words to the, to the wind. Response? Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. You who sit and malign my brother and slender your own mother's son. You do this and you should keep silent. Do you think what I am like you? Response, offer, offer to God the sacrifice, sacrifice of praise. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way, the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. With Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. The Pharisees came up and started a discussion with Jesus. They demanded of him a sign from heaven to test him. And with a sigh that came straight from the heart, he said, Why does this generation demand a sign? I tell you solemnly, no sign shall be given to this generation. And leaving them again and re-embarking, he went away to the opposite shore. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in the Gospel today, 
It's about the signs. You know, the people came and asked Jesus, sign, show us the sign that you are the son of God or you have the the authority to preach what you preach or teach what you teach and do what you do. You criticize, you call us hypocrites, you change and you interpret teachings and you invite people to repentance, no talk much about punishment. So in all those things, they are just differing and asking him, do you give us a sign, show us a sign that you are entitled to do this. But Jesus says, why this generation is demanding a sign? I feel that Jesus is doing what he was doing because he was son of God and every action of Jesus revealed to them that he was coming from God. He was the savior. He was the Messiah. But these people could not digest it, could not accept it or more than that, they did not want to accept it. So they were asking, sign, sign, sign. And the mind of Jesus is this. Why this generation is asking the sign? Because the God is with them. In Jesus Christ, God was with them. And why are they asking a sign? Jesus himself was the sign for those people. And now they are asking sign. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, today our, our lives also. Sometimes it, it's very difficult for us to feel or see his hand in our life like miracles, signs. But the Lord is saying us today, my child, I am with you. What, else, what sign do you need more? Yes, dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is with us. In this Eucharistic celebration, we find him, we know him and we love him. So why do we look for, look for signs? Jesus himself is with us. So we pray for this grace today. Lord, more than the signs we are looking for, more than the answers for our prayers we are looking for, give us a grace to feel your presence that strengthens us, fills us with, with peace in every moment, in any situation. Give us a grace to increase our faith and to see you with us all the time. Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, our feeble faith we offer unto you. Always looking for miracles, looking for answers for our prayers. And Lord, we pray today that Jesus is with us, we believe. Give us a grace to trust more and more, to increase our faith in you and feel your presence throughout this day with us that increases peace in us, that gives us strength to overcome anything. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May 
May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom he made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Lord Jesus Christ who set your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever Amen. the peace of the lord be with you always so let's offer each other sign of peace Lamb of God Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb all those who are not able to go to church today physically to receive the lord it's a time of spiritual communion we say this prayer inviting the lord into our heart my jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body and blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life.
Dear brothers and sisters, from Wednesday onwards, this Monday, uh, sorry, this Ash Wednesday onwards, we will have the Stations of the Cross just uh, before the Holy Mass at 7.45 a.m., followed by the Holy Mass. So 7.45 Stations of the Cross in the days of Lent, uh, starting from um, Ash Wednesday, and then uh, we'll have the Mass at 8 a.m. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's serve the Lord in love and peace. Prayer to Saint Michael. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priests. O Jesus, eternal priest, keep all your praise within the shelter of your sacred heart. Bless their labors with abundant fruits, and may the souls to whom they have ministered be their joy and consolation, and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us and obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. Thank you.